Today, we will be removing and replacing the igniter harness on this Frigidaire freestanding gas range. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Common symptoms of a failing igniter harness will be all the burners sparking at the same time or the burners not sparking at all. Now let's begin the repair. Stop. Before beginning any repair, remember to disconnect the power from the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the gas. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. First, to remove the front panel, we'll have two Phillips head screws going straight up and in on the left and right side. This will drop it down. You can remove your knobs. Your front panel should slide right off. Set it to the side. Next, to remove the top, you have two more Phillips head screws on the left and right side. Remove these. Now we can remove our top grates and our burners. To remove the top panel, first you will remove the grates. These just pop right off. Next, you can remove all your burner caps. Now the middle one, the burner cap comes off along with the flame spreader. It is not screwed in. The other four, you will need a number five metric socket to take off. Using your five millimeter socket, you can remove your flame spreaders. Next, we'll remove our seven millimeter bolts that are holding the top panel on. Now, with your seven millimeter bolts removed, you can pull up on your top panel, and the top panel will come completely off. You can set it to the side. To remove your igniter harness, it has two wires coming from it, one red, one black. The red one is going right into your spark module. We'll disconnect that. Now your black wire is going back through to the bottom of the unit. If you pull from the back, there is a Molex connector that it goes into. Now once you disconnect, what I'd recommend is getting a piece of tape and taping it up here just so that it doesn't fall back behind there. You don't have to remove the back panel to access it again. So we'll pop that on there. Once your wiring is removed, make sure it's not obstructed on anything else. Now there are two twist ties. This is just holds the wires up. Take those off. Now we can slide off our harness here. Slide your wires out through the front and you can place to the side. To install your igniter harness, first slide each one over the shafts It's best to slide them over first so that there's not tension on the wires. Once they're on, you can push them back. They will lock into position. There are little plastic clips. Once in place, you can reinstall your zip ties here. They don't have to be overboard tightness. They just need to lock in. 
so your wires aren't exposed. Next, feed your wiring back. Careful, it is very sharp in here. First, we'll go to our black wire here. You're gonna go under the bracket. There is an access hole. Next, removing your tape. Reinstall your black wire. Now, reconnect your red wire to the spark module. Now we can reinstall our top panel. All right, to reinstall the top panel, just gonna use the back and pivot it up, lining it up with the sides. Once it is lined up, using your seven millimeter socket, what you'll do, now these bolts are not magnetized, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. I find it easier to maybe get it started with your hand. First, and using your finger, pulling up to line it up with the screw holes, you can get them started. Again, using your finger, line it up through the top panel. Hand started. This will make things a lot easier. Next, we will reinstall our flame spreaders. Now you can replace your center burner. And along with your burner caps. These are all individually sized. Now we can reinstall our grates. Now we will reinstall the two screws securing the top panel. Now we can reinstall our front panel. To reinstall our front panel, slide the front panel through the burner shafts. Once installed, you can line your screw holes up. Reinstall your Phillip head screws.
Once your screws are back in place, you can replace your, your burner knobs. And this will complete the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.